So this is a quick update on my K40 type laser cutter and there's a few modifications since last time. I now have a uh, an air assist head on there. You can see the tube exiting towards the back. Um, it consisted of the entire top plate and it's a rather better quality lens holder assembly. You see you've got the thumb screws, you can drop the nozzle out. And to go with that I've added the cable chain for the air assist pipe and there's a second cable chain down this side with the tube exiting through the back. Now moving along over to the uh, electronics compartment, as you can see this is very much a work in progress. But right at the back there is the 240 volt case fan which is a relatively quiet fan. The 24 volt fan that was cooling the uh, laser power supply, in fact it's the, the general power supply as well, was really pretty noisy so I have now repositioned the power supply to take advantage of the case fan and I'll probably just make up a simple uh, top cover to give the uh, the power supply a little bit of guarding but you know this is a a compartment that once all this is finalized uh, will get sealed up. Uh, the control card is now um, a generic um, Arduino Uno with a um, version of the CNC shield and uh, this was less than £10 delivered and has enabled me to get up and running. The laser is now um, intensity controlled uh, via PWM and I um, went in and edited the configuration of Garble uh, to raise the PWM frequency to uh, just under the 8 kilohertz uh, range which is working pretty nicely and the um, the outlets have been replaced with um, standard IEC connectors uh, it's a bit difficult to get behind the machine but they're in the back there um, I did think about adding um, control of those outlets internally but instead I've decided to do it um, externally and this little bundle of wires here goes to a D9 socket on the back panel that will eventually have um, controls outputs for um, the air assist pump and for the extraction and cooling pumps so that the, um, the air assist is obviously under control of the software um, and in the start and end G code it will first turn on the, uh, the laser cooling pump and the extractor and dwell uh, briefly before starting cutting and then at the end the extractor and the coolant pump will dwell for a, um, a reasonable period to extract the fumes and to draw any residual heat out of the laser. Now, I had to move the laser to a room with no smoke detector um, and I have also rigged up uh, the extraction pipe, there's a, a vent axe here up there which I've connected up to to give some assist. Now um, as far as software concerned um, I'm using LaserWeb 4 and I'm just going to get the machine um, powered up and homed and then we're going to have a quick look at the, uh, the software. Okay, please excuse the noise of the uh, coolant pump running in the background. Um, so this is, I've just launched LaserWeb 4. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, go up to the comms option and connect to the machine. Go over to the control tab and home all. 
latrines now homing. And you'll see that the, uh, the blue dot uh, has now gone to the, the origin of zero, zero. Um, so that's the position of the head. And because the home position on these K40 machines is top left, um, the, the Y direction is, is negative from that point. So I'm going to load a file. And it's a very simple file I created. Um, and it's to protect the terminals on a little battery pack. So if I select it here, I can now automatically position it um, relative to the zero, 0, I could go in here and I could change the scaling, and rotate it and so on, which I'm not going to do, I'm going to leave as is, but I will click and drag on it, Let's reselect it again, I just want to move it a little bit away from the, the zero, 0, and this is just a plain cut, so I come down here to create single, it's creating a single operation, laser cut, and laser power 30% will do just fine, and a cut rate of 30 millimeters a second will work no problem, and I go up here and click on generate, we've now generated the g-code I go back to control, sorry I have a dodgy mouse, it generates double clicks on its own. So I've got a bit of card loaded into the machine, just to stop it drifting around I'm going to stick a magnet on the grid down here and it's going to get even noisier as I turn on the air assist pump and close the lid and then I'll make it even noisier as I turn on the extractor fan try and find an angle not getting too much glare off the the window and hit run. And there we go. One nice crisp of cardboard with almost no darkening of the edges. Now this is cutting 1 8 inch MDF and we're at 100% laser power, 6 millimeters a second. I think we could probably have gone a good chunk faster than this but I'm just experimenting with the machine at this stage.